I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I want to look at merchandising the gospel, making merchandise out of the gospel. I remember my bishop, Bishop B.C. Edo Hassim, and um, his word, filthy locker, that is dirty money. You know, for the first two years of my preaching, I didn't collect honorarium or offering from any person. Got to a point, people said it was pride and I was depriving the people of their blessings. And I accepted. But with all the hula bula going on, and the Bala Blue going on in the body of Christ, I want to look critically at some issues. You see that a church folk is ready to buy a handkerchief, an anointed handkerchief in quotes, for 10,000 Naira instead of buying a book on investment. He or she will think that that handkerchief of 10,000 Naira, that if she or he buys it, that it will make that person rich. Instead of buying a book on investment or managing finances, I found out that somebody is ready to empty her account and bring 500,000 to a so-called man of God that to invest that money in real estate. This is where we hype the people, hype them, and um, they place their faith in us instead of understanding the basic principles of God. By wisdom is a house built. By understanding it is established and through knowledge his rooms are filled with rare and precious ornaments. And so, some of these individuals have come to understand the thinking of so-called church folks. And as I said, only 5% of people dare reason for themselves or analyze and generate original thoughts. So people People manipulate these vulnerable church followers with bizarre methods. Just imagine that Elisha brought the mantle that he used to cross the river, the river um, Jordan or so, when he went to the other side of Jericho. Uh, used the the, the mantle, he used the mantle to strike the river and they say, where now is the God of Elijah? And the water parted. Assuming he came back to Nigeria, assuming it was Nigeria, or Sapele River, Ethiop divided, or River Niger divided, and he was in the uh, Onicha end of it. If that, assuming he was cutting one piece of that mantle for one million, small thread, people will pay. He will have built a church of the mantle by the side of the river and it will be filled to the brim. That's the way um, church folks like symbolisms. That's why that's rod and the snake in the brazen serpent in the wilderness was destroyed because the people will have worshipped it. That's why the grave of Moses is not known. It is the nature of human beings to look for a symbol. Maybe because God is not seen, they want to see God in man and in objects and then people manipulate them and squeeze their monies from them. I have been running seminars 
For many years, I ran seminars in churches. I went through assemblies of God around Nigeria, taught them on wealth creation. I didn't charge any person until very recently. I found out that church people are ready to pay a comedian three million to come and make them laugh than to pay Dr. Pokey to come and teach them on real estate and how to create wealth. I found out that they are ready to pay a musician five million to sing than to learn how to grow their businesses around their marriages. At one point, I stopped teaching church folks about capacity building. That's why you see I charge for my seminars because I'm teaching them how to make money and they have to pay for it. I found out that if people don't pay to attend, they don't pay attention. I've been running seminars every Easter Monday and October 1st free. I give them drinks, give them water, give them snacks free. But when it comes to these capacity building seminars, they pay. I was shocked that people, the same seminars I run here, people pay up to 500,000 Naira to attend, 250,000 Naira to attend. Just today, somebody was complaining about 15,000 Naira to attend a conference on investment and living on profit. And somebody else commented that these are seminars people pay 500,000 Naira for. Some even travel overseas to attend. And you have 15,000. I thank God for our brother Maxwell, an old boy of government college you really that paid for five people and we've been giving scholarship to people church people in the desperation for the miraculous and the manipulative tendencies of we the pastors by sharing bizarre testimonies and all that we are merchandising the gospel through the water we sell the soap we sell the healing, this thing we sell, and it is becoming nauseating. People doing all kinds of things. To, and the simple reason is that the churches are not, don't have services that people can pay for. The churches do not explore the potentials around them producing water factory, uh, water for their farm, congregations, bread, and every other thing. So the money must come from the people raw for us to live these grandiose lives. It's up to you to be manipulated, utilized, or to be wise. God bless you.